Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Dungeons & Dragons Rock Paper Wizard! This was sent to me by WizKids and is designed by Josh Kappel, Sun uh, Senfun Lim, and Jay Cormier. In Rock Paper Wizard, players are wizards who have just together defeated a mighty red dragon. The ancient power that courses through its lair still crackles with fire and wild magic. Now, looking down at the treasure hoard, jealous greed grips them all. Fingers curl into arcane gestures, lips murmur the forgotten syllables of ancient incantations, and in a flash, the dragon's lair explodes again into sound and fury, as the wizards use all the tricks at their disposal to grab the most gold from the heap. Ooh, sounds intense. So the main gimmick of the game is you use gestures for, hand, for like, spells. Uh, I'll show you uh, how to play. So in Rock Paper Wizard, you're trying to get as close as you can to the dragon's horde. You says you can see the dragon is dead. Uh, rip. But these are your little guys, your little wizards. Um, this is the entrance to the cave, and these are the spells that you have access to currently. At the end of the game, if a player has at least 25 gold pieces, then they are the winner, or rather, whoever the richest player is at that point is the winner. Now each round has five steps, uh, study, cast, resolve, scoring, and refresh. So in the first phase, study, you look at the spell book, that's the spells that are available. Here we have Feeble Mind, um, target and caster pool gold, then split evenly, remainder to caster. Counter spell, caster advances two spaces, target's spell is cancelled, and Ice Storm. Target gets pushed four, players seated next to target, each advance two. Um, so it's all about kind of manipulating um, your location and other players' locations and also their gold piles. Um, and so you look at that and then you decide which of those gestures or spells you want to do that turn. And then when you're ready, you raise a fist. There are attack spells, defense spells, and uh, gold affecting spells. Um, this shows you the gesture you need to do. When all players are ready, everybody shouts, rock. Paper wizard! And then they uh, put all their fists down uh, and do one of these things pointed at their intended target. Um, so you choose one of those spells, pick an opponent, and point that spell. If you're going to do Feeble Mind, do a point that Feeble Mind at your uh, opponent. Uh, you can point it yourself intentionally, uh, although some spell effects might make you do that later. But uh, as, when you do your gestures, you hold them in place, pointing at the target, and you resolve each spell. Now, if two players cast the same spell on each other, this creates a wild surge. And what happens is both players draw a spell card and they uh, do the new spell card at the target. So it's kind of like a chaos, sort of unpredictable occurrence. Something will happen to you, both of you. Then starting with the first player um, and proceeding clockwise, each player's spell is resolved. So the first player goes, okay, I cast Field Mind, resolve the effect. And then the next player, resolve the effect and so on. Sometimes spells will cancel out other spells, sometimes they'll make you kind of redirect your spell to a different target, or even re redirect your spell at yourself. Um, so there's a lot of different things that happen, and uh, so depending on the spells that are in play, there's a lot of strategies you can employ. So let's say the first player casts Feeble Mind on player two. They would uh, pool their gold and then split it evenly. Uh, and then the second player uh, cast um, Counter Spell on the third player. Uh, they would advance two, let's say it was this player, they would go two towards the horde, and then unfortunately for the third player, uh, their spell is cancelled, so nothing happens. If something hap- if the Ice Storm did work, let's say player three did it against player one, um, then player one would get pushed back four, and the players seated next to the target, maybe these two, would go forward too. So, there's a lot of different ways um, wizards can get moved forward or backward. But let's say at the end of the round, uh, this was the sort of um, final positions of every wizard. The closest wizard to the horde collects five gold, and the second closest wizard collects three gold. After you determine who the first and second place wizards are, you see if anyone has 25 gold. If they do not, you continue. And that's when you do the refresh phase. If any wizards are pushed out of the cave, as in these three spaces, or in the dragon's horde, um, they uh, return back to within this sort of area. That prevents any wizard from being too far behind or too close to the horde um, at the beginning of the round, the next round. Then you discard the leftmost spell, shift all spells left, and reveal a new spell. And this time it's fear. Ha! Target gets pushed two per poorer wizard. And you pass this first player token to the next player clockwise and begin the new round. 
And that's pretty much it. You uh, point spells at each other, uh, hope you don't get wild surges, and then try to manipulate your opponent's positions and gold and to your advantage, and whoever gets 25 gold ends the game and the richest wizard wins. Overall, it's a, it's a cute little game. It's it's very quick and simple to play, which, you know, I appreciate. The hand gestures are definitely gimmicky, but they're pretty fun to do. And I mean, going rock, paper, wizard, and like a Mexican standoff of wizards, it's, you know, there's something to that. It is genuinely, it's goofy, but it's genuinely kind of fun to do. The wild surge mechanic uh, makes it feel like uh, a game called Battle Cruisers, which I reviewed in a previous episode, where if you do the same thing to each other, there's like a penalty. So that's kind of fun, you know, because it makes you go, okay, I got to think, uh, is this player going to try to do this against me? If so, maybe I should try something else. Uh, you know, don't, you know, it, so you kind of, it's kind of a little mind gamey, just a little bit, uh, trying to predict what other people are going to do while also maximizing your own spell. The downside is it's a little too simplistic. Uh, yeah, there's strategy, but there is also kind of a lot of random luck involved uh, of just, uh, oh, we just happened to do it against each other. All right, play some random, random spells and see what happens. It's fun, but it has a little more randomness than I would like. But not every game has to be a deep, deep strategy game. This is really kind of like a party game. Very simple, pointing pointing gestures at each other, uh, yelling spells and watching the chaos unfold. It's fun, like, it, it, so I, I overall, it, it, it's a decent little filler game. Uh, it doesn't overstay its welcome. If it were like too long, I'd be like, okay, this is kind of a drag. But it's just the right length for what it is. And what it is, it's just kind of like a bunch of chaotic fun. Uh, can't really fault it for that. Um, overall, it's alright. 